then I'll cave and I'll make the decision. It'll be good. So uh, let me know. What do you think is the best choice for everybody here? Do you guys need a having stream? I think you do. I think you do. I think you do. Not up. What's not up? Oh, it's up, baby. Shared on Facebook? Nice. Thank you, son. Having stream plus one? We need you here. I know, Randy. See, this is what I needed. This is why I wanted to ask you. This isn't really normal content. I'm not jumping into charts, but like your guys' opinions matter to me. What you guys say matters. What you need matters to me, and I want to uh, provide that. So we're going to keep taking, <clears throat> we're going to keep, continue to keep tabs on the having date, but something tells me it'll be 420. It's just, it's too perfect. Uh, some other interesting dates coming up here. So it is the 22nd of March. I believe on the 25th of March, we will have our full moon. Full moons haven't really seemed to come into play quite as much as they did in the bear market, but we have seen historically correlation between new full moon cycles. Let me see how this looks. There we go. Um, yeah, have not seen a lot of correlation lately, but if you go back in time, there were times where this was really bang on, like the start of 2023. Uh, these blue dots, let's make these uh, more logical. New moon. New moon? The new moon should be dark. It should be black because it means there's no light. The waning moon should be light, right? Here we go. Yeah, that, look, that works out. So the light ones on here, new moons. The dark ones, full moons. No. I need to calm down. The moons always get me mixed up. New moons being the dark. No, you can't see it, right? We have typically seen swing highs in the past, so much so that I made a really cheesy video many years ago. Uh, it just is what it is, right? Full moons being the white circles here. We have seen very consistently in Bitcoin's history swing lows. I mean, looking back to early 23, it's bang on. I mean, you got your pulled back to 21, then your 19.5 virtually a day or two from the new moon or full moon from the from the one you can see moon god moons are hard but it hasn't really seemed to line up well doesn't seem to line up well here's a terrible hit the last new moon did nothing Son of a bitch. i should just keep going i should i should not even correct myself anymore doesn't really matter uh full moon did nothing the last one is that gonna happen again uh, probably, but what is interesting is typically they're near swing lows and price is down from the previous new moon high of two weeks ago. This is coming in on Monday. And if we are still selling off by then, I would look for at least a local bottom, some kind of retracement after. These do hit sometimes. I mean, this is a great one back here on the 20. Oh yeah, January 11th, the day ETFs were approved. It's weird how how correlated these are to like everything. It, it's very strange. I can't explain it. Uh, that was January 11th, right at the previous new moon. New. The end of the sell-off after ETF on a full moon. Anyway, it's not something I would trade by, but it is interesting. We have a lot of dates kind of lining up, getting ready for what's to come here, I guess, into Q2. The having is the biggest one that I'm watching. We have the full moon coming, but more spicily, I believe it is April 8th. And this one, I do not have really any historic data on. We could look into it, but I think it would take a long time while live. And I don't think it will yield much interest. Uh, but here it is. April 8th. We have a full solar eclipse. When was the last one? Does anybody know? I have no clue when the last one was. Not even a little bit of a clue. Uh, I remember Donald Trump looking at one in like 2020 and that is it. I don't remember anything after that. When was the last one? I could Google it, but I'm not going to. It's not worth it. I'm not going to get sidetracked. Interesting dates, regardless. I mean, this like lunar solar eclipse, dude, solar lunar full new. I I'm done with these terms. Uh, very close to the having regardless. We're seeing it come in. Things are looking interesting and spicy i'm starting to think maybe we don't see much this month like into the rest of the month we'll see uh definitely of interest here and we're going to look at this first before i get all mixed up with new moon full moon solar lunar i don't know gibberish etfs obviously in under the micro or microscope here 
We've been watching their inflows and outflows pretty closely and using them as a good gauge of market. What kind of trend we're looking for. Of course, this data is lagging, so you have to be aware of that, but let's take a peek. Here it is. Total spot Bitcoin ETFs net flows. I believe on Monday we talked about this and we said, yeah, we've had two days of outflows. While that itself doesn't mean a rally is over, it doesn't mean a market bull run is over, trend is over. It is a warning sign. It's a warning sign because when the rally is over, we will almost certainly have negative outflows. Like neg is very, very much, I think, guaranteed that that will happen. Um, but on Monday, we only had two days. Was it Monday, Tuesday? Yeah, because it's only to the 20th. Uh, we only had two days of outflows. And we noted that back in January, right after about the second week of the ETFs trading, we had four days of negative outflows. They were smaller than what we see here, but that was a more prolonged period. And remember what happened with price action. This was it. This was the negative outflow time. So we're seeing negative outflow now. We've seen it once before because we don't have a lot of data here interesting look at kind of this price action you're gonna notice something here this was the negative outflow ready ready what do you kind of notice here it's it's similar it's starting to maybe deviate from that maybe we're seeing uh, an inverse head and shoulders start to play out on the day as long as our low is not breached at 60.5 we still have a potential right shoulder neckline probably 61.8 61.2 something like that but to me, this does look, this is, uh, actually I have the wrong chart pulled up. That's funny. Huh, look at me. It's Friday, man. We did this on the uh, FOMC stream real quick here just to rehash. Not bad TA from the FOMC stream. Uh, this is that chart. Moved to the high and almost back to the low. But uh, not what I was getting at. Not what I was getting at, guys. Give me a sec. I've got goodies for you, I promise. Here we are. So we might be deviating from it, but we are seeing something kind of similar. It's like this fall kind of support resistance flip. It does to me look not identical, but pretty similar. Maybe this is price action that uh, is influenced by the ETF outflows. I don't know. Something to think about. That's for sure. But we are seeing those uh, potentially slow down here. So it is Friday and my bet is this. If Bitcoin does not hit a new low today, I doubt it will hit one over the weekend. I, I bet it will open higher on Monday. If that's the case, four days of outflows again might be it. We might see then another week or whatever of inflows, etc. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Despite the outflows, it is important to keep in mind, look at assets under management. These outflows do very little, very, very little. Yeah, it's down from the high on the 13th, but I think that's actually due to Bitcoin's price being higher. I don't, I don't think that's actually due to like the loss of the asset. Anyway, all right, last thing, we're not gonna do too much of this. We're gonna get into the charts. We're gonna have our Friday, guys. What I need you to do is uh, grab a beer. It's Friday. Roll up if you got them. Take a chill. Let me know what you're doing this weekend. I'm going to read the chat in just a little bit. Smash the likes and subscribes. Links in the video description. Discord, you know the deal. Uh, let's look at the biggest gainers and losers today because Bitcoin's not really moving too much. We'll definitely look at it. But uh, what is spicy? What's up, AJ? What's up, my guy? Thanks for subscribing, my friend. I don't know if that was the first one. Now nah, we had more. Eric, John, Bolina, Matt, Fonzos, Abi, Mark, Bay, Bali. I don't know. Keep them coming. Keep smashing those buttons, guys. I appreciate it. We hit 100K. Now we're going to a million. Uh, FTM, barely up on the day. FTM, the only coin in the top 100 that is green over the last 24 hours. It is at $1.11, and I'm just going to go ahead and do this right now. We're just going to load it up. We're going to have to take a look at that chart. That's for sure. Ooh, and I don't hate what I see. We'll get into that. Uh, Aptos. Wait, why is this under here? Did I, uh, I might have misspoken. I guess I was doing it by seven day. Let's go by seven day. Uh, FTM, the highest up in seven day. Aptos underneath that with a 24% gain. I'm not sure if that's above previous highs, but it's worth a look. It's worth to pull it up. Actually, that's pretty spicy there. We'll get into Aptos. 
Uh, SUI, SUI up 23% this week. Stacks, Stacks is it. That's what I was like waiting to like remind myself about. I do believe Stacks is at a new all time high, despite the rest of the market kind of being lazy. Here we go. Stacks is going to get pushed up on that list for sure. We're going to look at that as the altcoin first. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, Maker, nobody really ever cares about Maker. I've never heard anyone talk about Maker since 2018, maybe. Toncoin Jupe. Probably can pull them up too. Ton has been getting some buzz. I don't know. I think uh, it's cause is Telegram about to like IPO or something. I don't know what it is. Uh, and Jupe. People always want to look at Jupe. There we are. We'll pull those up. Uh, biggest gainers on the day. This is what I meant to say. ICP at $13, not breaking its local highs. So that's not quite as exciting to me. You can even see that over here on the seven day. Uh, Floki still below its highs, but up 3% on the day. Let's see the biggest losers. Pepe Coin taking a dumpster here, down at 11.6 cents on the day, 18% on the week. But let's put that into perspective, man. Over the last month, it's got to still be up unless it crashed way more than I think it did. Celestia down from its highs, not huge though, 10% on the day. Beam, bonk, about 10% down. INJ, wow, that's not great. Down to 34. I thought that was about to start running. Fet AI, Fetch, down 10%. Arb, Solana, kind of overall, just overall, bleeding. Biggest loser on the week was Bonk, Dog with Hat. Interesting. We did see memes really have some strength, really blast through highs and get some gains on them. I wonder, it's in the title, so I'll talk about it. Who here, raise your hand, who here has uh, seen some of the new Solana meme coin names? Please do not. Put them in the chat. Do not put them in the live chat. Some of them will get you banned, could get me banned. Don't put them in the live chat. Just say me if you have. I see you, JC. You did. What's up, TD? What's up, Yellow Jacket? Shout out, Yellow Jacket. Shout out, Daniel. Daniel has. Shout out, Josh. New memes are trash. Well, I mean, they've always been. They're kind of always trash. But Zigzag. Shout out, Zigzag. Shout out, Josh Breen. You have. It's effed up. Dude, Um. you know, one of our... One of our members in the Discord earlier said, how long, shout out to Josh Durham, uh, said, how long do you guys think it'll be until the government goes after uh, Solan, the Solana chain? Someone on Twitter said something about that too. Uh, with some of these names, man, it's, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I just, I'm blown away. It's like, uh, it's kind of just like, what is it? Reaction humor or shock humor, right? It's like someone started with something kind of offensive and then someone went a little bit more offensive and someone went a little more offensive and eventually with the power of the entire internet and every average random person being able to make a coin and name it whatever they want, we have gotten to some really weird stuff. Um, I don't know if I can say that will mark the top of like the meme frenzy, but I don't think that's a great look for Solana, especially because, well, Solana is not the most censorship resistant chain uh, at all. And something tells me that, uh, yeah, something tells me that some governments are not going to be too happy about that. And especially, maybe not even with what's already been done, but with now people on this kind of escalation path, what will be done. That might not be a great look for Solana meme coins. You guys know I've been skeptical about them since the beginning, but uh, everyone degens in their own way. Everyone makes their own choices, so I don't uh, tell you not to. But dang, man, if you don't, if you don't, uh, if you haven't seen them, I recommend you go kind of Google it. I recommend it. You are going to drop your your jaw will drop on some of them. It's wild. It is wild. That was in the title. We did it, so it's not clickbait. Boom. I don't think I had anything else to pull up. It's Friday. We need 500 likes. How long are we into the episode to give away this dollars? How far are we in? Really only in like five minutes. That's the longest five minutes of my life, sir. What? No, it's been like 20. 20? I think it's been 20. All right, let me, I have to actually pull this up. I have to pull up a window for me to see. We're going to jump right into the corn TA. 18 minutes. We have 700 viewers. 18 minutes. We have like, let's, I'll give it 15 minutes because I was rambling there and asking you questions. That, that was distracting you. To get 500 likes on this, this stream, the mainstream, 
if we can do that, I'm going to give away, I'll give a hundred bucks to two people. How's that sound? How does that sound? I think it sounds pretty good. Challenge offered. Hopefully you accept that challenge. What's my dream car, Stan? It used to be a Tesla because I thought they were going to be fully self-driving soon, but apparently they are not fully self-driving soon. So, uh, my dream car is an Uber Black XL. Tom, you have the check marked. I do. Check mark. Dude, it'll never get old. Check mark hype. Dude, check mark, check mark hype is all you guys. You guys are 100% of the check mark hype. You guys banding together, watching this guy wearing sunglasses. You're the reason. You're the reason we made it. I love it. It'll never get old. It'll never get old, dude. I've been waiting seven years. I used to watch when I started crypto live streams and stuff on YouTube and uh, chat in the live chats. And I've been jealous of that check mark for, I don't know, seven, eight years. <laughs> finally, finally got it like two days ago. It'll never get old. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a picture of it. I'm going to sleep with my play button when I get it. <laughs> More ridiculous stuff. More ridiculous stuff. Elizabeth, blah, 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 blah. All right. We've got charts pulled up. We're trying to get to 500 likes so I can give away some money. We've got Bitcoin, Stacks, FTM, Ton, Apt. I do have some others pulled up. Yeah, some, got some stuff up my sleeve. But what else do we want to look at? While we're thinking... Shout out for shout out to APT. Shout out Al Ski. Shout out all the things. Shout out Crypto Crypto One. Shout out Heaven Peck. Shout out Hollow Man. Shout out JC. Shout out Lumanita A. Shout out Moggy. Shout out Mike Bennett. Shout out RJB. Shout out SS. Shout out Zaymon. Shout out <laughs> OX Slice. Shout out Ace. Shout out and I saw a streamer say shout out and then read them. I thought it was the most ridiculous thing. I don't know how I did that. Andrew Maloney, eight BG, Big Don, Slope Scoop, Bloop Scoop. Voxel, C. De Silva, C. L. Cohense, Crypto Holder, Crypto King, Crypto Shark, Nado, what's up, bro? Cyber Dunk, Daniel Lehman, Danny Butts, Dave Digital, Destruction XX, Downtown Music, Downtown, Drunk Maroon, Echo Messenger, Fabio, Felipe Valigio, Frosted Flake, Greg, Savchuk, Lockhead Gaming, HM Creations, Icy Matcha, It's Autopilot, JBoy3000, Joe Potter, Skeptic Sniper, Larry Calabrese, Leo Goddess, Lewis Christie, Loading Name, Long Mountain, Mark Dutch. What's up, Mark Dutch? Merrick Fren Frenick, Mark Pelra, McGuaca, Mika Lee, Mr. Blank. What's up, Mr. Blank? Uh, Novocaine, MBF Forum, My Meyer Midian, two and five. That's hard for me. Obi-Wan, Pablo, Chuko, Pablo, Paul Wood. Dude, so many people here on a Friday. What's going on? Is it the thumbnail? I knew it's the thumbnail. Penny Aways, Psychedelic Astronaut, Free Will, Riker's Beard, Randy Greer, R Ryan Olgini, Ryan Tuck. Dude, these, I'm, getting, I'm losing stamina. Sell Hatton, Ekron, Shring Tech, Sajor, Snack Sniper, Stan KG, Stefan, Stone One YGM, TD Tesla, Tag the Dude, Pickle, One with Who Was, Todd McAfee, Tom G, Twiggy, Vidala, Vidalis Valig something, Venom Hex, VV Pusky, Vinay, Warren McCarty. Dude, I feel like you guys are talking just so that I have to keep going. It keeps adding. XMMGX, Zane Mod, Zin Zang, Zigzag Monkey. All right, I did my best. I did my best. <laughs> Holy crap. When liquidity moving to alts, consult with the Bitcoin dominance chart. Just rolled one up, Chris, Christian. My guy. That'll be me after the stream. Especially if we get uh, 500 likes here. We're at 370 with over a thousand live viewers. Can we get 500 in the next 10 minutes? It is 129. So technically it should be over. We, it should have been half an hour. We'll give it, I will give it 10 more minutes. So 140. I believe in you fam. Let's make it so. What are you guys looking at? What's up Crypto Wanderer? Happy Friday to you. Who has the best plans? My voice makes you bullish? Good. Jeremy, for those of you tuning in for the first time, likely seeing my very compelling, masterful art piece thumbnail, you're a little worried, you're a little panicked. Well, you've come to the right place. On this channel, what we do is we, we deliver value. We show you how things actually work. We don't sell you a basket of goods. But more importantly, 
when you're panicked, when you're FOMOing, we are, we are a sanctuary for you. You can come in, you can, you can be worried, and we will remain chill. Sometimes I get excited, but we remain chill. You got to keep that energy down. We'll help you calm yourself, soothe yourself, your anxiety. And honestly, that is one of the most valuable things in crypto because you're going to get fired up. You're FOMOing, you're, you're panicking, and then you find all this other content and they're FOMOing or they're panicking. And now you have confirmation bias. Other people are too. That means this is real. And so then you make a really bad decision in real time. You say you sell all your stuff or you buy, you throw all your money, mortgage your house, you go all in. Uh, in a panic. And then you just get wrecked. You lose all your money. So whenever you're feeling that, join join our streams. You can jump in the Discord, discord.gg slash Tom Crown. 24-7 crypto anonymous support. There it is. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Mortgage your house, go all in. Good luck. We do peddle some hopium. Yeah. What kind of do you recommend to start from beginner? Says Sam Teacher. I have some great trading videos on the channel. You can check them out after the live, man. RJB, the goat. One stream isn't enough. That's why we have two, baby. That's right. What's up, Vin A? Happy Friday, bro. Put your kidney on the table. Ooh. You're way too deep in Doge and Avax. Yeah, yeah. At least you're not panicking about it. All in on in Brick. Yo, Br Joe Potter, is Brick the Fortnite subreddit token? Or is there something else? Like if Tom's streams are a gift. Thank you, Minta. Uh, you're a gift. You're a gift. I appreciate you. I also appreciate Baron Riddle, who subscribed. Tim Boat over on Facebook. Arrow King subscribed. Ayo, a la Pufluge. I don't know what that is. Subscribe, but welcome. Stefan Kuzmanovsky. Edgar's Demance. Mr. Twan. Afzibo. Mill. Prince Raprarraj. We have a prince in our midst, gents. Pinky's up. Jeppe Tengerson. We got a lot of new names. Hell yeah. We have a sub chat only enabled for the first time ever in five years of live streaming. Just curious to see how it works out. We'll see. All right, we got eight minutes left. I don't know how many likes we're at. I'm not going to keep bringing it up. You got eight minutes. Whoa, eight minutes. I'm going to set an alert for 140. When my alert goes off, if we have 500 likes, I'm going to give away some dollars. Free dollars. So you got to worry about. Let's look at the Bitcoin daily. We're going to do this quick. Boom. Very similar analysis to what we did on the FOMC stream. Very similar. Uh, daily range high, local high, we'll call it, sits at 67,850. Ulrich with the, uh, the membership. Heck yeah, my friend. Right on. Send some of those emojis. Daily local support down at 61,9. If I had a gun to my head, I had to take a position on Bitcoin. This is where I would take it. We had a trade that we did, I think, on the 15th that was up here using this similar analysis, basically just targeting our open fair value gap on the day. That was at 65.3. That, that did get stopped out, riggedy wrecked. But that's how trading goes. I would, a gun to my head, take this one. Probably this is how I would do this. Yes, nice tight stop. Looking for a three to one because that's how we roll here. No LARPing allowed. That should be like one of our channel's mottos. No LARPing allowed. But a more favorable trade, which I think has a less probability of filling, is down here. Down here at our wick. March 5th, 59.22. There's no guarantee of it happening, but this would be where longs could get swept. Liquidity grabbed up by market makers and whales stopping people out just to rally price baiting in shorts i think we were all kind of waiting for that yeah no it's interesting we have etf outflows now we looked at how that's similar a little bit earlier in the show uh to the price action that we saw the last time we had etf outflows and if i remember correctly let's go back to there if i remember correctly we were in this ascending parallel channel hitting higher lows and what happened? What happened? Boom, right here. 40, 40.1-ish. 40 we had higher lows on these wicks, higher highs, uptrend still holding. Boom, boom, down underneath, and then we rallied again. So if we are to repeat the same thing that happened the last time we saw four days of ETF outflows, we might be looking for that wick 
to sweep the range, 59-2. I think that this is a better trade, 59-2. But I think it's less likely to fill. Let's see. Ooh, that's kind of pretty here. I like this. I imagine if it hits that wick, it will trade lower than that wick, so stop loss will be kind of the tricky part. You can still get a 3-1 to one targeting the high of the daily range right now. 67.8. I think this is the play. Neither of which I really expect to fill today. We could see this one fill. 62-ish, but this I, I think would be like Monday maybe. Open the week to, to pain, depending on how today closes, what it looks like. What I like is if it comes back down to this wick, our 618 or our golden Fibonacci retracement level lines up perfectly with our local daily resistance. That is some confluence that shall not be ignored by me. Not bad. That's how I'd look at it. Let me pull up some indicators. I am curious. Lux Algo, our sponsor, you can check them out. The number one indicator company in all of the land. Let me see if this button works. If you can't click the link, you can go to tomcrown.io slash luxalgo. That'll do the same thing. I'm going to pull up some Lux indicators because uh, when the market was fully just trending up, I didn't find them as useful because it was just saying the market's trending up. A lot of TA kind of goes out the window when markets are clearly trending in one direction. Multiple? Multiple moving average. I hate that I can't find the multiple MA I used to use. I hate that. I hate that. You said MA, multiple moving average, and then there are EMAs. Liars. Liars. Uh, on the daily, our change in trend, as noted on the 16th of March, and we did see this, I think, uh, on Monday, has continued to play out as we don't need to be reminded. We've fallen below the support band. However, again, Lux Algo giving me more confluence. Again, almost the exact same thing going on on the daily four signals and overlays. Uh, fell below our support band. Fell below our support band and retook it. That's pretty spicy. This is not as worrying to me. Do you like that? Let's see. 12 hour from Lux still, obviously in that short, has not closed yet. It did dictate a little single candle of a negative or down bearish trending, but then this rally back to our high over the last two days has brought it back into indecision. Man, I really think this is what happens. I think this is what happens. It's just so pretty. It's so pretty. Right shoulder, head, left shoulder. God, dude, why am I having trouble with words today? Left shoulder, head, potential right shoulder. So we can, again, we tried this trade on a lower time frame. It did get stopped out earlier in the week. But as long as you have an invalidation in a trading plan, it's a good trade, even if it does not win. Uh, what I like about it is we're starting to see it. As long as we don't trade below our low here at 60.7, this is valid. All we need to see is a move back to where we're looking for anyway, our daily local resistance, 67.8. Uh, what I'd like to see then is a pop above, maybe just under 70, a pullback to 67.8, and then a move back to our, probably our all-time higher range high. This would be a great bullish way to get out of this pattern. How do we get out of it last time is the question. Not quite that way. Not quite that way at all. Although, 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 kinda, kinda. Definitely not the exact same, but kind of. It is interesting how much like overlap or confluence there is with the last time ETFs had outflows and right now when ETFs have outflows. Not quite the perfect inverse head and shoulder we were looking for. But let's copy this and see what it would look like on the chart. We have one minute, guys. I don't know how many likes we have. If we have 500, we'll give it away. If we don't get 500, don't worry. I wanted to. But we'll just give it away on Monday. We can try again. We'll try again, guys. Bars pattern. Let's see how this looks. 
Now remember, these bar patterns are interesting at best. Somewhat helpful at best. And I don't know. Totally wrong at worst. These are not to be like taken literally or uh, used as a trading guide directly. The odds of any price action playing out exactly as it has in the past is very low. Let's get rid of these lines. That was the alert. I'm going to give you guys like a few extra seconds here. Keep getting them. Might look something like this. And that actually is pretty reminiscent. Pretty reminiscent. We uh, don't have a deep right shoulder on the previous pattern here from the ETFs. But that could be remedied still, even if we don't hit this long. That could be remedied though by just a move up above 67.8 and basically just consolidation. Might look something like that. Could see that happening. Maybe this is the uh, weekend price action and then like you open on Monday or maybe you open on April 1st for the rally. I don't know, man. Is BTC going to test 61K? It looks pretty likely. I mean, it looks pretty likely. I pulled up the wrong chart, so I have no indicators on this, which is obnoxious. Cypher B. Let's get the little Marcus Cypher B on here. A little weakness actually on the daily money flow remains green. But I'm seeing some weakness, uh, kind of a shorter term day though. I can see momentum returning to that zero line. To quote Jason Casper, the uneven butt cheeks, uh, likely to have at least a short lived, this is uh, on the 12 hour, not the day, short lived rally just from that alone. I really want my freaking moving, uh, all my moving averages. Why does, uh, why does this do this? Son of a bee. Is it over here? Here we go. I found it. I have to do the jankiest stuff to like manipulate trading view to work. It's okay. There it is. Something we should be paying attention to. You guys will notice, and maybe you have noticed, and you're like, why does Tom do this? This is weird. That I will at times use certain indicators. A lot. And then at times I won't use those indicators at all. And you're probably like, why do you do that? In trading a skill that everyone needs to learn over time just through experience is when to use what indicators, not just what indicators to use, but when to use them. I haven't been looking at the daily moving averages for a while because since February 7th, we haven't touched them, right? We moved, wow, is that right? That really 71% since February 7th. That's freaking bonkers, dude. Holy crap. Over the last 36 days, we haven't been anywhere near the daily moving averages. You can already see, now that I just threw up the 20 in white, the 50 in yellow, the 100 in blue, and the 200 in green, you can already see we're interacting with it. And so now these are back in play. A move to the downside. We can use our fib tool. If uh, none of this bullishness plays out, we can use our fib tool. And that actually doesn't get us anywhere that I would expect. That's weird. Hmm. Interesting. We can use our FIB tool and we can see our 50 daily moving up to that range low. If there is a sell-off, let's say into next week, I can see a tap of the 50 and then at least returning back up here to the 20. Rejection from the 20 will be a very bearish signal that will likely impact a longer term on Bitcoin's trend. Uh, but for now, just chilling under the 20. And if we go back in time, you'll see that that does happen. In fact, the last time ETFs had outflows like this, we returned to the 100 and the 100 sits at 50K. 50K. Even testing that would not be a big deal. This is the last thing I'm going to do. I'm going to see how many likes we got. Boom. Even if we return to the 100 daily moving average at about 50,000, that is only a 31% drop in Bitcoin from its high. That is not absurd. And in fact, that is very standard for previous bull runs in the bull run, not after the bull run, not whatever. On the way up, we have seen many 30% retracements. Many. In fact, they, got, they were way uglier before. Look at these. Look at these bad boys. Boom, 40%. Boom, 40%. But it did not stop the price, right? Did not stop. So I'm not really worried about that, even if it happens. Okay. 
Did we do it? Did you make Papa Tom proud? Let's see. Let's see. If you didn't, it's okay. You did. Oh, you did. Wow, you did. 550 likes. Nice. You did it, fam. I helped you out a little bit, but... 750 votes, 75 say yes, 75%. So let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know the best way to do this. Hmm. Here's what we could do. We do have two streams going on. We have a vertical, mobile version. And then the big, normal version. I'm not exactly sure how to do this fairly. Because I don't want to just pick. That wouldn't be fair. Even if I do my best to be random, that wouldn't be fair. Um, how about this? Let's do this. It is 145. What I want you guys to do. is uh let's do it this way if you guys send messages in the chats right i'm gonna put like a little time limiter on it though let me see slow mode to five seconds just to make it a little not about who's spamming the fastest and just about more about random let's do that put a five second delay here's what i want you to do there it is just keep spamming the chat. Every single person, spam the chat. And I'll try to not look. Uh, like, look this way. I can't see the screen this way. And then I'll take a screenshot. This is uh, what Jason Casper said he does. Or no. Hmm, I have to put this over. Put it over like this. And then I'll take a screenshot. Oh, man, how can I do both at once? This is complicated. This is definitely complicated. Uh, I'll do it this way. We're going to pick one from the mainstream and one from the non-mainstream. I'm going to put my cursor over like this. And then whoever it's on and the one to the left will win. There is an issue though. There is an issue. Since Femex is the one giving me the money to give away, you might have to have a Femex account. We'll see. We'll see. We'll figure this out. I'm, a, I'm an honest guy. I, uh, I, won't, I won't let this go bad. So you're, spam it up, guys. I'm going to maybe look over here. Look over here. Where should I look? We'll put my blinders on. There we go. Now I, now I can only... <laughs> This is effing ridiculous. Put the blinders on. Pull up my snipper. Snapper. How do I do this? Something like that. Or can I just hit the screenshot button? Let me give this a test shot. Print screen, does that work? Let me see. Keep, keep spamming, because I'm not going to tell you when I'm taking the screenshot. It's just going to be random. Didn't work. I took a screenshot and it just gave me my desktop. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Okay. No, I don't want to save that. Okay. We're going to do it like this, and I have no idea how this will go. If you do win, you're definitely going to have to join the Discord, discord.gg slash Tom Crown. So spam it up. I'm going to sit here and not look, and then I'm going to click this button at some point in the next, I don't know, minute. I'm going to play these tunes while we do it so it's not fun. I can't see it. Oh, this is ridiculous. How's it look? Man? Keep spamming. Keep spamming. We're going to be giving away $100 to two winners. Whoever is, whoever is uh, moused over when I hit this button. Could be you. Could be you. Alright. I don't know how long it's been. This is weird. Keep going. Keep going. A little more. A little more. Subscribe as well. That'll help. I don't know how, but it will. Alright. All right, let's go. Let's go. Who's feeling it? Are you ready? 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 Uh, don't stop. There it is. No. I know this name. Bad Baptist. And Martin. Where are you, Martin? Where did that go? Martin something. Martin Eck. Let's see. Martin Eck. There he is. Martin Eckstein. 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 
There we are. I'm going to keep this for proof. But Martin, I know Bad Bath is already in the Discord. Martin, oh no, that's not good. Luckily, I haven't written down, but that is bad. Hopefully, we didn't disconnect. Uh, I don't know. I just, not enough memory. Where's all my memory? Where'd my memory go? This didn't freaking crash. Okay, let's do that. The day the world stopped. You know, it's probably from the YouTube chats. Those things are obnoxiously memory hogging. Like, wildly memory hogging. Whew, let's hope it reloads. Can we reload? All right, it's gone. We're gone. There it is. Maybe. Am I being hacked? Am I under a hack? Under a hack attack? I don't know. There's the winners. Martin Extern. Let me see. Um... Bad Baptist, I know you. Martin, hopefully you're in the Discord. You should jump in there right now, actually. Discord.gg slash Tom Crown. Let me see. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Going to be interesting. How? I should have thought this through, fam. I don't tend to do that. You. Uh, maybe I can find a way to, like, contact you, too. Well, we're giving away money. I guess if we're going to like kind of do nothing in the show. Go to channel. Here we go. More about this channel. All right. Martin, join the Discord. <laughs> Congrats. Uh, we'll figure out how to do this. This is the first time we've done anything like this in a long time. So I'm a little rusty. Discord.gg slash Tom Crown. Jump in there. All right. All right. Let's move on. Is the bull run over? Probably not. I don't think so. I think it's close to being over. Kind of an ugly weekly candle. Would be great to see that. Would be great to see that pick up into the end of the week. But more importantly, we got the monthly. We got the monthly. March looking good still. I didn't notice that, but we didn't quite close above the highest monthly close last month. Anybody else notice that? Really, any close above 61.3 going to look pretty good. You want to close below? I don't really care. I think it's still fine. Still fine. But we're going to look at some alts. We gave away a little money. We had a little spamming. We're going to look at some alts. I got stacks pulled up. Stacks, definitely one we're going to look at today. Making moves while the rest of the market doesn't seem to be doing so. Yo, yo. Second winner. Game's a boogie. Yes. I see Big Shari. You want to see He Mule. Censorship. Who's censorshipping? He shilled you? Oh, nice. Well, not your first time here. Well, you're the luckiest man in the world today, my friend. Fet LRC Ondo. We gotta get the dollar. I'll pull up the dollar while we while we pander to the audience. See what they want to see. Yeah, you can stop spamming. You can stop spamming. The winners have been chosen. But uh, make sure you tune in every day. We're, it's not the last time we're going to do it. Oh, my. Oh, my. The dollar. Very threatening here. Thank you for the tip, man. Thank you for that. You know what? It's time to put these on. I'm going to be able to hear things. Dollar super threatening here. 104.4. We saw some weakness after the Fed. Big old weakness after the Fed meeting. But uh, man, it does not seem to give an F. Could please Bitcoin do this? That would be great. Hitting a higher high here even in the day. The dollar rallying into this weekly close. And that is a solid monthly candle. Guys, I say this a good amount. Oh, that's weekly. Um, I say this a good amount, but I'm going to just say it again. The dollar is the hardest freaking thing, I swear. The Dixie. DXY is the hardest chart to predict anything on. It's like every single time it looks bad, it goes up. And every single time it looks good, it goes down. It has trolled me for years. Let's put on just real chill in background. Too. It's real quiet. Here we go. You probably can't even hear that. Perfect. What's up, Cody? Kodali, Armando, Charms, Crypto LK, Maro, Weasley, Benene, Janus, Sida Hearth, Mr. Morianjiti, subscribe, Mohammed, subscribe, Philip, subscribe, Neil, subscribe, Jewel, subscribe, Leon, subscribe, Luke, subscribe, Shout out Mr. Ricky Line subscribe, Crypto Rider subscribe, David O subscribed, Measy subscribe, Siglet. Geez, there's so many. 
Shout out to everyone who subscribed. Uh, dollar, so difficult to TA. I don't know what it is. It just never seems to move the way it's supposed to. Yes, we did have a nice bullish engulfing candle here on in January. Technically not totally bullish engulfed as it's missing some of the bottom. Jason Casper just texted me. Let me see what that cat said. Oh, yeah, I just said it's easier, easiest to do the giveaways that way. True dat. Uh, so far, it does look like the dollar is putting in a beastly quarterly candle here. Six days and six hours to go. Of course, this isn't crypto, but it is very important. Very important stuff. Why? Because when the dollar gains strength, when the Dixie go up, everything else go down. Everything else go down. We can disagree because Bitcoin and stocks have been going up, but the dollar is still sitting below its quarterly, its last quarterly open at 106.17. April will mark the second quarter of this year, and in six days, six hours, we'll see how this closes. But if the dollar can manage to trade significantly higher in the next week and buy significantly 1.5%, that's a pretty big for the dollar. That's going to be an incredibly bullish setup, uh, which I'm not comfortable with. Not comfortable with. Uh, 112 from our, what, all-time high or at least multi-decade high. What's up, my friend? Thanks for subscribing. I see you, Nick. I see you, Sharish. I see you, Night Run. Uh, 112 would be the next quarterly. If the dollar can close above 10617, it may be moving to 112 this year. That would be scary. I don't like that. We did wait and wonder if the dollar would ever put in after this blow off top a lower high and move down. We could say this is a lower high, but man, the quarterly close on the Dixie is going to be giga important. Giga important. This is a little weird right here. I like this bottom wick, very bullish on the dollar, but you can even see zoomed in here. We have made progress, or it has made progress, but it's really just a little bit above its open on the month. Selling into the end of March on the dollar would be beautiful. If it closes above 104.12, that's a solid hammer candle and Q2 likely to bring us up to 106. Interesting. All my alerts were wiped, so I'm kind of behind. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Set that alert. Okay. Okay. This this looks like freaking. This looks like Litecoin. This looks like Litecoin or or XRP. Like lower highs, yeah, this isn't over nearly the same time frame. Lower highs, higher lows. Uncomfortable all around. Just general uncomfortability. 105 from earlier in February is our range high, and it is still sitting below there. It's still sitting below there. Huh. I don't like that I'm kind of bullish on that chart. I don't want to look at it anymore. Also related, really quick, I'm not going to do much TA on it. Gold did hit a new all-time high and sank back down. Like it has every other time it's hit a freaking all-time high. Gold just can't seem to catch bids. What's up? The Outer Banks Photography Company. Shout out to you and your company. Huh. Go back down, dollar. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway. We're going to look at stacks. Stacks at all-time highs. What's, what's after stacks? I do have FTM, Ton, Apt. Does anybody want to see those? Ouch, my XRP Baker. Yeah, dude, but ouch, my Litecoin. I'm right there with you. It, it's like I'm allowed to say it. You're allowed to say it about Litecoin. If you like XRP. And Litecoin's allowed to say it about XRP. We're in the same boat. Tips. Christopher Stars wants to see tips. People have asked me about tips lately. I don't think I have a chart for it. We can see what that looks like. You can find me in LA. I don't know if you can hear the music, but you can find me in LA. Just the tip? Just the tip? Or Fedora coin? Are either of these tips? If not, isn't it just is what we can't look at it. I'm looking it up on CoinGecko quick. 
Whenever I want to investigate a coin, I just go to CoinGecko, Fedora, or just the tip. They're both tips. Just the tip, says Warren. All right, just the tip. Not a lot of history here, so we're not going to have a lot to work with. Stacks is next, by the way. You don't get a choice. Weekly support sits at 55 cents from this week's open, last week's close, but we don't even have two weeks of trading yet, so I would not have any confidence in said support. Can see it right there. Man, you only have this many days of trading. You guys are degenerates, man. Degenerates. Did break its listing or beginning trading day high at 13.7 cents, but just slightly today before retracting back down. It hit 15. Nice psychological number. Let's see. 0.5 retracement points directly to 5 cents. I'm definitely not going to get any of this. <laughs> Stayed away from the Solana memes. But if you are, maybe 5 cents is a good entry. We have very, very limited chart data, which gives us very low confidence in anything we look at here on this chart. But here's what I see from what we have. This. Clear resistance at 5.5 .5 cents. It broke out yesterday. Continued said breakout today. I guess it's back tested. Not really back tested though. If it moves to 5 cents, I think that'd be a much better entry than here at 8.8 .8 cents. What else do we got? We gotta go down to like micro time frames. A bearish inside candle here in the 12 hour. There we go. Tips, just the tips. Eight hour gives us a little bit different picture, maybe 7.5 cents even. You can kind of see this right here. You can even bring that back to maybe the listing candle. Yeah, 7.5 cents. 7.5 cents is probably the scalper, scalper entry. Zero five, likely the, the patient master hunter entry. That's all we got, fam. You guys want to look at just the tip? There's just the tip. Just the tip. Last thing we'll do is slap some doom and moon math on it. Moon math for tips coming in hot. 45 cents is your 1618 extension. Your measured move sits about a dollar. Let's do the doom math as well. For these new coins, I'm always going to do the doom math. Because it's just as valid as the moon math, man. Back to your lows. Just under two cents. Corresponding 618 at 005 and the measure move 0025. Just to give you a greater, kind of better picture of where this is this is like likely to move if it breaks its range. Break your low, you're looking for here. Looking into here. Break your high, you're looking up here. There you go. Just the tips just for the greatest crypto community on YouTube right here. There it is. Pick your bets. I'll put an alert above 15. I've, I've heard it mentioned. I'm surprised how much I've heard it mentioned in the very small amount of time it's existed. Done. Fet. Pull up Fet. We gotta look at stacks though, guys. Stacks is at all time high or was at all time high earlier today. We'll get to Fed. Doesn't really look like uh, don't really look like much is happening outside of what we're looking for. We'll take a deeper look at Fed in just a minute. I want to look at stacks. You don't have a choice. I'm the one with the mouse, looking at stacks, boys. Let's zoom out on the stack of rune. Yearly resistance was at 215. That was broken earlier in the year. Let's look at the quarterly. <clears throat> Got a refresh. Nice. Beautiful quarterly candles. Beautiful, beautiful. Man, we got excited back here at $1.30 when stacks broke. This was beautiful, this pattern. Targeting basically the monthly high, 245. That broke February. Now it's broken higher in March. Let's moon math it, baby. Let's moon math it. We're at all-time high. What else do we do? If it continues... Past its all-time high, meaning basically if stacks doesn't sell off below eh, 325 by the end of the month, even if it does, still on the table, but but much better if it doesn't. 
You might be looking at an $18.55 stack. Your 1618 extension using your all-time high to all-time low. Well, bear market low. Your 1618 sits at 1855. Let's do the other side of this coin too. But if it does sell off into March, sells off into March, hype kind of fades. Let's take a look. Where might we look for a retracement? Honestly, a dollar fifty it does look very good. Dollar fifty looks pretty good. Uh, that's where we saw in January kind of the indecision shooting star candle that did not end in reversal continued or led to more continuation whatever dollar 50 it doesn't line up with any of our retracements which is uncomfortable it's unusual for that to happen none of this none of this lines up with anything that is extremely unusual mm. 10 bucks you know, I'm just going to go with 150. If you see sell off a bad close this month, we may see 150 again on stacks. If it keeps the strength up, I'm looking for like 18. Damn. Obviously not 18 tomorrow, not 18 next week, but 18 potentially throughout the bull market, like peak bull market. That could be a year out. It could be whatever. I could see like 1850. That's a big move. That's a big honker move. Big boy, big boy. You'll join that. Good, good. Stacks is headed straight to $300, says Sal Bogitz. I see you're as bullish as I am. <laughs> um, as bullish as I am on crypto on Stacks. Cool, cool, cool. What's up, my ref? Shout out to you. I see you subscribing. Zachary Martin. Shout out Jolly Z Goat. Shout out Mansoor Chenafa. Shout out Johnny Gucci. Cool name. Shout out that guy does. Shout out everybody who subscribed. Keep it, keep it going. Sign up with the links from any of our partners in the video description below and get VIP access in our Discord for free. You can't even pay for this VIP. You can't even pay for it. There's no way to pay for it. You just have to sign up with one of our partners. So get FTM. So get the FTM. FTM. Beautiful chart here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful chart. Let's see. We can get rid of some of this as it's not really in play fundamentally anymore. We didn't do much TA on this. So <clears throat> here we are. FTM, been around for a while. Previous all-time high was about $4.350 back in 2021. Uh, since then, it traded to 16 cents. Holy shizzle. For a 95% retracement, it has regained some of that strength here. Solid January. Uh, this is still yearly. Uh, solid very small gains last year kind of the same gains this year I had a stroke there for a second thought we were on uh the monthly yes i see the same thing i have very strong confidence good i already have it on the chart very strong confidence that ftm is looking for two dollars and 14 cents right here well i guess it's like 225 back to the yearly close very probable extremely probable most coins have done this this might mean that there's more opportunity there, more upset. It's up to you to gauge. But that yearly looks prime for like two, 225. When we zoom into the monthly, we have a very nice setup. A very inefficient fall here for FTM. After hitting its all-time high in 21, FTM spent very little time there. Three months-ish. Basically at this 225. Let's see. You broke your low. In March of 22, and then you just fell. You just fell. On the monthly time frame, this is incredibly inefficient price action. You started to paint some efficiency here at your bear market bottom. Lower high. Efficiency, not quite as much, but a little efficiency here into your higher low. In December, January, February, you painted a three candle long setup or an order block on the monthly directly below 56 cent resistance this month you have broken 56 cent resistance you have seen me stream in stream out every day talk about this concept it is one of the most important concepts in bull markets when you're below all-time highs when you break when you break through your efficiencies when you break through like hot 
like a hot knife through butter. Price tends to glide through the chart back to the next point of efficiency. And as we said, that next point is directly above us. 215, 225, whatever it is. Let's look at the week. It swerved our long entry like a dick. Like a dig. On the week, week suggests maybe 162. 162. Before uh, some kind of consolidation. 150. I think 150 is a better number. Here's how I can see this chart moving. I could realistically see this move to 150 with not much pullback. You did get a back test on the week at 56 cents on the way up. That's probably not enough to really be confident in it. But we have our 1618 extension. It sits directly, directly at our weekly high in March before it fell. I could see something like this. Maybe a dollar. I could see that. That'd be a pretty good climb. Of course, we've seen many coins just go straight up. That's always on the table, but I always think it's a bad bet. The best bet, if it comes, in my opinion, is going to be back here at 56 cents. There's no guarantee it will trade there ever. It may trade there sooner than you expect. You never know. This would be the best bet. You may see something like this. Kind of doubt that, but this is where I would be looking. I wouldn't personally be very interested at 115, but everybody trades different. FTM looks good. It looks good. Yeah. 150 is solid. That's solid, boys. That's solid. What's up, Fat Tony? What's up, my, uh, my guy? Hang. Hang spams my Twitter, just like all the rug scams. I don't know anything about Peng. All I know about it is I get the same bot spams. Hey, it does have some history though. All time high of 211 now sits at 55 cents. Kind of the retracement we're looking for on FET. It's only traded like a month. $53 million mark cap. That's really, really small. Uh, um, do I want to chart? I appreciate your super chat, my friend. Uh, but I always have to be careful what I chart. I really, really don't like... Okay, I was listed on Mexi, BitGet, Polonex. That doesn't... And Femex. Doesn't uh, mean it's unruggable or something to me, but it's... Hmm. Hmm. No greater one. Okay. I'm going to assume Mexi listed it first. Yeah, they always list everything first. Mexi listing it suggests there are market makers for it. Surprisingly. Daily's weird. Uh. 50 cents. 50 cents. Then line up with Jack. Then line up with Shizzle. Then line up with Shizzle. Not a lot of history on the old Mech C, so not a lot we can do here. That's not a good look. This is not good. Honestly, I mean, 50 cents, you, you, it's very hard to work with a chart with like this little, this uh, little history. 50 cents is a great psychological number. It is kind of the only support you have on exchange. Problem is losing that is rough. I mean, you don't see anything for another 50% down really. I mean, maybe like a chance in the thirties. I don't like this. I don't like this flat bottom. You already broke the low. Not a fan. Yeah, that's all I can tell. That's all I can say. You got a shot at 50 cents. I have no idea. No idea if that'll hold. Um, yeah, 
set an alert. I set an alert. FTM's done. Taunt I was looking at it quickly, but I don't know if we'll do it. It does look not bad though. Here it is. What? T Gate .io has more history than this. April 22. No, it's just that gate.io traded really high. No, it has more history. That is weird. I thought those crypto uh, charts on TradingView meant like the full history because they typically are. Guess not. Guess not. Not a bad chart. Ton actually a pretty good chart. Let's see. You got like the all time high, like five bucks, 550. You broke in 373. I mean, this is gorgeous on the month. That's gorgeous. Higher or low, higher, low, higher, low, flat top, breakout, past efficiency. I mean, all time high looks pretty, pretty solid for Ton. You can see like an $8. It's like one six one maybe 18. I don't know if I'd trust that high because it's not on the other charts. Maybe we'll take it from here like 15. Maybe a good good target for for uh peak bull run. Potentially higher at 30 even. 25, 30 look good. You know? I'm gonna do the same boring conservative Tom Crown stuff. I don't like it much at 430. I don't like it at 430, but I, I don't hate it at like three bucks. You can get a nice risk to reward here. Yeah. $2.94. Let's just say $3. Previous resistance here. Untested on the back. Could even play out like this. Something like that. Sending an alert for Ton. Done. Apt. Uh, I'm going to do app quick and then I'll <clears throat> turn the attention back to the chat. Not bad. Not bad. I don't own any app, I don't think. Maybe I do. But if I do, it's like, a, I don't know, less than four figures. Uh, apt is right back here. Did it tap its monthly high? I'm gonna get rid of like all this analysis. I don't know. This was from it when it came out. Here we go. Okay. All right. All right. This is actually a really cool chart. So risk very high. Obviously, you're sitting at the at the resistance. You have nothing but wicks above you. Nothing but wicks. This is back to its highest close ever on the month. It has touched it in this month, which is a little concerning. A little concerning. That was, uh, damn, yo. Three days ago. And since then, only higher lows. Uh, maybe it is going to break. Ooh. Ooh. Market Cypher B is spicy on this. Ooh, wow. Apt might be looking realistically. Apt is looking very good. Wow. I'm surprised. You know me. I want to say, okay, $10. You, you can see it in my eyes, in my glasses, that I, I want to say, wait for here. And that's probably the move. But this is pretty spicy, man. It is at the highest monthly close. It's high. It's highest like real resistance. It hit it just a few days ago, two, three days ago. And since then has only put in higher lows. We're starting to see it eat through that resistance in real time. Each one of these moves, each, each one of these bumps is eating away some of that resistance, weakening it over and over and over again. That alone is bullish, but to see these lows come up means that it's being defended. There might be a very good trade on that. Be a very good trade in that. Uh, it's not gonna be my style, but um, 
man. 15 if I was scalping, looking for a very short-term position, 15 bucks, definitely on the table. You do have an unfilled gap down here at 1332 as well. It looks like almost every other gap is cleared. It's a hard one. It's a hard one because it's just like you're market ordering into green, and that is always risky. Just under 20 bucks. I want a good risk to reward. I don't know. That's, that's not for me, but man, it's unusual. There's a lot of kind of interesting things going on there. If I was going to take a spot position, you can get a lot juicier. You get like that for a spot. Targeting 30 bucks. Jeez. It's only 2x though. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, I'm done with that. I'm done. Done with it. Let's see. Let's pull up the chats again. Whew. What time is it? Been live an hour and a half. It's Friday. Losing a little steam. Losing a wee of steam. It's okay. Pendle. Hello, new here. What's up, friend? Can I talk about Eth? I'll pull up Eth. Just for you, friend. You're new here and I haven't pulled up Eth today. Gala. You want to see Gala Crip? Ooh. 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 Not a great looking monthly, man. Nine days for F. Uh, definitely will benefit closing even just a little bit higher. My attention is definitely drawn over here, though, away from the dollar pair and into the BTC pair. Interesting. Interesting. F is doing something kind of spicy. This is not a really good looking thing for F BTC necessarily, but. I can kind of see a, like a reversal diamond starting to paint here. Looking back, let's see. Looking back uh, on the fall since the merge, we haven't seen anything like this really. Yeah, we haven't seen anything like this. And the duration of which it's taking it to like do this is kind of what catches my eye here. So let's see if these other drops. None of these very similar. I just see momentum leg. This was a fake break. That should have been a breakout. Momentum leg. I don't know what this is. This is nothing. This is like nothing. I don't know what that is. But down here, this is, this is realistically starting to potentially look like a reversal here. Nice big fat diamond. It's been playing out since this year started. F very pushed down. It did just break its low. FBTC traded to 047 or 048. As long as it holds that 048, this is not looking too bad. It looks terrible, but things always look terrible at the moment of max opportunity. They always look terrible. What I like that I saw, the weekly has filled all of its open, open gaps there. This wick this week. If it gets bought up into Sunday, especially if it can close and just even like 0 five, three, that starts to look pretty good. Now the dollar pair does not look super great on the month at the moment, but that's okay. That's okay. I still think it's going to go back to 4,600 this year. Let's look at this weekly. Weekly tapping back into the only point of efficiency. Good. Our F long, I think that was also from the uh, four, 14th, 15th, 14th, 15th. Wrecked. Riggedy wrecked. We don't hide our losses here, guys. It would be very easy for me to just hide the losses all the time or change the charts. And you guys would think I'm a magical. But then you also would think that that's possible in trading, to never be wrong. Everybody's wrong. It, the best traders in the world are wrong all the time. Man, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you, what do you think? 
Not a bad spot for it to bounce. I mean, if it can hold this low, move back up, that looks good. Potentially 3150 still in play. Kind of seems random. This seems random to me. Seven. I'll tell you what, if we ever see a nineteen nineteen hundred dollar Ethereum, I'll buy more Ethereum. Does look extended. Just like we were talking about with FTM, tapped that yearly close. You know, we had a really good edge on uh, those monthly setups from December, January, February. Hopefully you guys made some money on that. Uh, found your own charts, found your own setups that followed it. Here's another one. We'll have to do a little more research to really be confident, but here's another one. Look for charts on the yearly. So that means they have to be older. For their 2021 yearly close. So for Ethereum 3700. A lot of charts have not moved back to there. Like FTM, we were just looking at, this is the best example I'm gonna pull it up. FTM, right here, good example. Yearly, highest yearly close, 21, $2.25. Has not come back to it. I think we are going to see the majority of coins do that, that are under that high. Can't say if they're all gonna break through, but I think that's very good odds. Very good odds. So go go forth this weekend and look for coins like that. Unfortunately, Bitcoin, not one of them. Not one of them. Let's see. Stocks being stockish. No one cares. Jupe. Being jupish. I don't really feel like looking at it. Fet, though. Fet, though. This is... This ain't bad. Hit 288. I'm liking these wick lows. Bam. Well, this is what we were looking for. I don't know if it's going to play out at this point. We did hit 288. It has sold off. We do have a lower low in the next week. $1. twenty would be a phenomenal entry if it comes. Phenomenal. Can look to ride that up into the into the moon market, right? It just looks exactly like all the other charts. Like if you zoom in right now on the day, it just looks, looks very much like everything else. A little bit more volatility. Lows are coming down. Highs are coming down. I mean, that's a downtrend, but what are we painting? We're right here at our open daily gap, fair value gap, 237. If it bounces there, that's great. But it's kind of still knifey. Kind of knifey. I do like this in crypto when you get it. That's what I like to see at a resistance because you almost always see them break to the upside. But I'm not sold at what this is yet. I'm going to stick with my plan. $1.19. nineteen. Ondo, Litecoin. Somebody was really mad that I didn't look at Litecoin the other day. Someone pulled up. I feel you. I, you got, I mean, like, it's no secret. Wow, look at this old, uh, this chart. Stopped out. Banger, stopped out. Um, I love Litecoin, it's no surprise. I don't hide it. I don't tell you guys that you should buy it because I don't do that. I don't tell you what to do with your money. I don't tell you how to invest it. I just tell you what I do. And you're welcome to do it or not do it. But there's not a lot going on. I will absolutely be the first one that you see tweet, that you see go live, that you see talk about Litecoin when it's doing something. I'm waiting. This is not a lot going on yet. It did hit a beautiful high, 105 this month. Great. I'd like to see it. Ooh, nice. It even got the back test here. I like that. Back to green. I'd like to see it moon. I think it will go back to its all-time highs. I think it will break its all-time high. But it just hasn't done the excitement yet. Here's when you'll know I'll be talking about Litecoin. The minute Litecoin trades above, let's say, 215, I will be talking about Litecoin. You might get sick of me talking about Litecoin once that happens. Also, 
a huge factor here. Litecoin has not yet shown us it's bottomed out against Bitcoin. That is the threat. And while this is true, it's just not that exciting for me. I'm watching it. I, I look at it every day. Don't worry. We will get a beautiful reversal here on LTC BTC. I can't say that it'll make a new all-time high against BTC. Maybe it will, but I'm not going to make that claim. But we're going to see it. We're going to see it on these candles. Maybe the next time we get a green monthly against Litecoin. Actually, this is kind of cool. We're at the bottom of this channel again. Back to the top of this channel would be 115% against BTC. I could see that. That would not be a big move even for Litecoin, I feel. But I'm watching, boys. Every single time. Every single time over the last, I don't even know how many years now, that it has broken its low against BTC, I have looked at it. As I will continue to do. Trust me. I don't want people to trust me, but trust me on that. I will be the most celebratory. The most excited. Man, Bitcoin has not moved, dude. In this entire two-hour stream, Bitcoin has moved maybe 0.1%. Extreme low volatility. 0.6, my bad. Still not right. Maybe one. One whole percent, maybe. <laughs> you know, low time frames, that looks good. I don't know if I caught that earlier, but low time frames. You've got candle close. Candle close. Candle open. Wick. Slightly higher low wick. Right? A move up. A sell off right back to those opens, filling the hourly fair value gap. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Ba 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 ba. What's up? What is up? It's Friday. Who has the best Friday plans? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna like take a break from the chart shotgun. Who's got the best weekend plans? Who's doing something cool this weekend? It's freezing here again, so I guess I'm not. We love you, Litecoin brother. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> oh man, can you guys imagine the like? It's it's gonna happen someday. Like. I don't care if it takes another eight years. It will happen someday. Litecoin will go nuts someday. I don't know what will happen. I don't know where it'll go. I don't know why. It will. Can you imagine how good of a told you so that will be for me? People have made fun of me for Litecoin for like five years live streaming. You may be out there thinking you're probably new to crypto. If you're thinking this, that's okay. Litecoin's never going to do that. Eh, it's possible. But I'll tell you what. I was also... The only bull, the sole bull. I don't care what people say. I don't know like a single person. I don't even think I talked to a single person outside of our community who was bullish on Doge all the way back here, all the way before Elon, before the pump, before retail. People made fun of me for Doge way more than people make fun of me for Litecoin now, which is, that tells you something. People like hated me for being bullish on Doge. I have no idea why. I defended them somehow. All the way back here at fractions of a cent. That was a good told you so. I didn't ever say told you so. But look what happened. It went 32,000%. <laughs> Things that are hated, man. If they stick around, they can be some big opportunity. Manta, bonk, bonk, doge to 10k. I don't know, monkey. I don't know about that. I'll take like a $4 doge. I'll pull up charts, but I'm taking a break from shotgun TAing. Death, taxes, and doge. That's right. Ooh. Self-explanatory. see. Gala, whiff. Same as Doge, I should be bullish on Kendu. Why? 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 I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know. It, it, because is vaguely a dog-related name? 
I'll, t- I'll also tell you guys another secret. The reason I was bullish on Dodge or Doge or whatever, dog, has nothing to do with dog or meme. Nothing. Nothing to do. This was before meme coin was even a term. You're taking your fiance to dinner. You just got engaged? Well, bad Baptist, brother. Tell her you want some money today. You want some of Tom Crown's money. Yeah. Yeah. A little extra celebration. Oh, man. I'm realizing I got distracted. You did the giveaway. I know Bad Baptist, but like... I don't know if Martin's still here. You know, I can probably ask Jason Casper, though. We'll see. Shai Toshi. That's, that's again, though, not related to Doge. I don't know if this can do. I'm not saying it's anything. I'm not saying good or bad. But, uh... That ain't gonna work on me, son. Your condolences. <laughs> condolences, bad Baptist, for getting engaged. Condolences. First lesson, never tell her about your crypto, absolutely. ICP starting to move up. It was at like 13 something, which I don't think had broken any highs earlier, so we didn't get too into it. Yeah, nothing's changed there. Nothing changed there. J Day knows. There you go. There you go. You sure about the direction, MYB 1414? No one can ever be sure, my friend. I didn't forget Gala. I just didn't do it, but I'll pull it up for you. This Bitcoin price action is so choppy, I know. Ooh, Gala, money in the bank, sir. Hmm, interesting. Just a coincidence. Both Bonk and Gala are at our long position targets. None of this is financial advice. Just because I think that you could take along here does not mean it will succeed. Just going by my analysis, just sharing my thoughts. I'm not certified in any way to give financial advice. Interesting. Nor interested in giving financial advice. Don't ask. 50 cents on Gala. If that doesn't hold, though, I mean, you could get another shot, maybe like 33 if it keeps falling. You know, it would be ugly. It would be ugly to see it close back below 54 cents on Gala. It'd be ugly. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but it might be like, okay, you might have more waiting to do. Right? Could see that. I think of XAI USD. I've never heard of these. Thoughts on ETH? We did look at ETH. We did look at ETH, and honestly, my thoughts were not much. Not many thoughts. I had some thoughts on the BTC pair. Could be putting in a bottom. That would be a more compelling argument than anything I can say here. Our long got stopped. It traded lower. It's yeah, right here. This was your resistance. This is like the major resistance on... Or not the major resistance, right? Major resistance. I got to go back to the chart. When I do too many charts, I, I start like getting them confused in my head. I'm not fresh. Ethereum USD will look a lot better closing just a little bit higher this month. Closing red, not 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 the end of the world, but not great. Like it, you get a red monthly, and I think the possibility of twenty six hundred gets a lot better. But I think way more importantly than F is right here, right here, FBTC. All of your weekly gaps are filled. Your lows have started maybe coming up. We'll see. But I'm seeing. A nice little diamond reversal pattern paint and we have not seen that all the way down all the way down have not seen it look at how old this chart is we were slaying ethereum in uh 2019 20. oh my goodness fis what's that ivan i am a proof of work kind of guy that is right we looked at i mean i pulled doge up i didn't really look at it look at it I was just gloating about being the uh, the original Doge bull long before it was cool. Back when it was uncool, like extremely uncool. Long filled, not stopped yet. Uh, 
It looks better than a good amount of other charts. At least your daily is still higher up. Kind of like comparing to Bitcoin. Bitcoin at the moment is like down here. Right? You hit 20 cents. We said 20 to 25 cents. This is the final resistance, in my opinion, for Doge. If you can close candles above 25 cents, I think it's going back to its all-time high very quickly. We said, but we don't like to chase candles on the way up. Your previous resistant range, 12.7 to 13.7 cents. Much more attractive than up here at 20 when people are saying, should we go long on Doge? This is what I'm looking for. Looks good. If you lose 12, that sucks. And you're probably moving back to 10. The odds of it bouncing, though, if it hits 10, I think are incredibly good. Like, good enough that I'll probably open a trade. I'll probably open a long on Doge if it hits, like, 9.6, 10 cents. Six hundred sixty-six percent. Let's go. Let's do it like that. Spot position. Roll out. There it is. Never forget, Doge. X Y O. What's that, Wiley? I can't tell. Like there are so many tickers now that oh, I have a chart. I can't even tell sometimes if you're saying tickers are like abbreviations. Wow. This kind of looks like Gala in a weird way on the month. That looks like Gala. You want it to hold 10 cents here. That's how I see the chart. Ooh, double top, double tap, double wick top at 16. God of Olympus. It's the pump song. Maybe it'll pump. I want to see XYO close above 10 this month. Closing above 10 looks solid. Closing below 10, I mean, then probably minimum. Looking for like 7 cents up here. Might get a play like that. These wick tops are a little threatening. You got a big zone of resistance up here. Yeah, break that and you go back to all-time highs, though. There you go. XYO. Yo. We've been live two hours and 42 minutes, and as much fam as I would love to stay here all day. Just can't be done. Can't be done. We've looked at a bunch of charts. What did you say? What was that one? ICP? I had ICP pulled up. Um, you gave away some money today. We had a bunch of new subscribers, new fam today. Hell yeah. What you should do is join the Discord, discord.gg slash Tom Crown. You should make sure you've subscribed to the channel and not enabled notifications. And then you should look in the video description below and sign up with any of our partners, any of them. Once you do that, you can enter the Discord and you will get access to our exclusive, you can't even buy it, VIP trading section. We don't have a, like a, yeah, we don't have something for sale like that. You can join the patron. We will have a little patron night tonight. Patron.com slash Tom Crown. But uh, fam, tune in Monday or if it gets spicy over the weekend, tune in. Tom, thank you 